How's it going, guys? It's your man, JT, here with another edition of the Beyond the Benches show, your weekly Dolphins content for you as we continue to work our way through the OTAs, the off-season workouts, and everything going on there. And soon we will have a little bit of a break for about a month, a month and a half as the teams take off a of football. And, you know, players kind of can go do their own thing right now as the voluntary workouts are wrapping up. But then we'll have the preseason and the regular season. And I'm just really excited to, for that part and for football to be back here already. There's two games I have my eye on particularly and one of them already got the tickets and everything set in motion to go to that game. And that is the week two regular season matchup against the New England Patriots. Uh, of course, the first time these teams playing since the Miami Miracle that had Dolphin fans in a frenzy before that light, uh, late season collapse last year. Uh, they'll also be wearing those awesome throwback white uniforms. So really looking forward to that game. I think it's going to be a good time. Also, they're coming. the Dolphins are coming here to Tampa Bay week two of the preseason at Raymond James Stadium and would love to be able to make that game as well, kind of get an eye on some of the young talent and the battles going on there. And that is a good segue into the OTAs because that's a big thing as some of these battles have already started between guys like Josh Rosen and Ryan Fitzpatrick for the starting quarterback position. A lot of guys on the offensive and defensive lines, a lot of the starting jobs there, wide open for guys to kind of step up, grab, and seize those opportunities. So it's going to be interesting to continue to follow these stories and headlines as we do that. And, you know, it is still May. It's only off-season workouts right now. So you can't take anything too seriously. But so far, the reports have been pretty positive. There's no major problems or major, you know, position groups that seem way behind where they should be. I also think expectations are a bit dampered given the off-season the Dolphins had. So that probably helps a lot with that too as well. I think, you know, a lot of people may go into the season with zero expectations or just expecting the worst thing, you know, to see the worst thing on the field, and they're probably going to see uh, a better situation than what they may fear. But getting to some of the big stories around the offseason workouts, and I think the biggest would be starting with Rashard Jones, the safety, who has still not taken a practice with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, he's been in the Bahamas and other parts of Florida as well, and there's a lot of people that claim that he is simply just going out and getting specialized rehab uh, uh, of course, his season last year ended on an injury, so that's a very realistic possibility. But for those who think this may be an underlining message behind all this, I don't think that's too far-fetched either. Of course, a lot of you probably remember he took himself out of a game completely last year, so frustrated with the play calling and how he was being used, and Adam Gase didn't even know it. And I think ever since that moment when he just didn't play in a second half, uh, the tension has been there a little bit between himself and the Miami Dolphins, and I'm sure you know Adam Gase and the coaching staff getting sent out has helped quite a bit. But then you head into the off season, and there's reports of him potentially getting shipped out or traded. Uh, and of course, you know as good of a player as he still is, he's in his 30s, making a high paycheck. Those are the kind of players that tend to kind of get the boot uh, in rebuilds like that as you try to stay younger and cheaper. So obviously, I can sense the frustration. There also were some rumors that he could be a post. June 1st cut, which is still coming up uh, after June 1st. You can cut players for a little bit of a cap break, uh, or not as expensive as it would have been previously. So maybe he's just sitting back. And, and this is what I think. I think he's sitting back, just making sure the Dolphins indeed don't cut him during that June 1st deadline. And if they don't, then I think when the training camps and the preseason come along, you'll see him. Uh, also, the Dolphins have been sending out a lot of videos about Devontae Parker. A lot of videos out there on their social media pages of him making any kind of catch or, you know, a toe tag and a toe, you know, drag it, I guess you would say. Uh, and, you know, of course, Dolphin fans, again, just can't quit Devontae Parker falling for it. To me, I feel like I've been on an island for three years now. I felt three years ago, I said, that was it. He's just not going to be an elite wide receiver. Maybe we'll get something decent out of it. But, you know, and I felt like last year, everybody finally kind of came on to my side of the table and just was done with Devontae Parker and like, yeah, maybe we'll let him go. Maybe we'll keep him. But it's time to stop expecting big things out of him. And of course, the offseason workouts come along again. And listen, Devontae Parker is an athletic guy. When you take him out of the game situation where he doesn't have to make the mental reads or be physical or stay healthy, uh, he looks pretty good. So people see it. They get excited. They get hopeful. It's what fans do. And again, you hear all these people saying, this is the year. Is this the year Devontae Parker breaks out, does something big? And the answer is no. 
Sorry, I just don't believe it. You know, maybe he puts up some decent stats, but that's not breaking out. If you give a wide receiver that's good enough to be at the NFL opportunity after opportunity, eventually he'll throw out a decent season, but I just don't think the guy breaks out. So those are some of the big names. I think Rashad Jones and Devontae Parker really leading the headlines right now at OTAs. But of course, any more that come out, you can expect to hear all about it right here at